This gun is crazy. It is going to make everything seem easy. Let me show you my loadout, how you're going to put them in the dirt. They're going to be begging you to stop. You're going to be begging for more. What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Be sure to follow over on Facebook Gaming and Twitch at the Acrylics, the one and only, and all socials are the same. Acrylics, one and only. I promise you, you won't believe how good this SMG is until you use it. It pretty much just knocks everybody down instantly. When I was using it to get the polyatomic camo challenge done, it took one game to get 25 headshots versus all other guns, which seem to take about four to five games to do the same exact thing. This gun is crazy. It is going to make everything seem easy. Let me show you my loadout, how you're going to put them in the dirt. They're going to be begging you to stop. You're going to be begging for more. It's going to make it so easy. You don't got to sit there all frustrated, pulling your hair out because you don't do damage or you can't land shots. I'm going to show you how you can set this gun up to have literally no recoil and do a ton of damage. Let's get right into it. Appreciate you guys being here. If it's your first time, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell. And not only that, check me out on all socials, the acrylics, the one and only Facebook and Twitch for all the live game streams. And I'll catch you guys in the next upload or live stream. If you guys like this video, comment below and let me know. But until then, I'm out of here. Peace and love for you. Deuces. This gun is so good. No, nope. you're looking at the ground, bubs. You should have been looking at my head. All right, guys, here is the loadout. First, we're going to run the Marquee Bar 7 stock. The reason we're doing this is because we need a lot of speed. Crouch movement, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. It's going to reduce your recoil a little bit, but it's not very much. We're going to rectify that by running the Demo X2 grip, which is going to increase your recoil stability. Then next, we're going to run the 45-round magazine. If you don't run this, you're going to run out of ammo 
very quickly on this gun. Trust me, it is just going to annihilate your magazine and you're going to have no ammo left. So definitely run the 45 round mag. In fact, I wish it had a 50 or a 60, but it does not. It's going to slow you down a little bit, but don't worry. We're going to rectify that. Next, we're running the FTAC Castle Comp. I've tested every compensator and suppressor on this gun. The reason we're running it is because it's going to help with vertical recoil control, but it's mainly focused on horizontal. Horizontal recoil control is when your gun jumps left to right when you're pulling vertical recoil down, and it makes it very unpredictable. This gun's horizontal recoil is not terrible. However, you're going to want to reduce it as much as possible. I did try running this compensator right here that reduced all the horizontal even more than this compensator, the FTAC. However, it didn't reduce any of the vertical recoil, and because this gun's horizontal is not out of control, you're going to want to run the FTAC Castle Comp. Suppressors in this game are only good for bullet velocity and damage range and sound suppression, as in most games they are. However, with Modern Warfare 2, you don't really got to worry about being pinged on the minimap by not running a suppressor. So I highly encourage you to run a compensator because you're really not getting much recoil control, if any at all, from a suppressor. It's recoil steadiness. It tightens the bullets up, but it doesn't change the spread or the direction the gun goes. To speed this whole package up and assist with everything, we got the FSS OLE 5 laser, or the OLE 5, which I like to call it for short, is going to give you sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and aiming stability, which is insanely good. If you don't have it, the LAS 44 V3 is the next best laser. But as you can see with the OLE 5, you're getting the sprint to fire speed, which makes the handling a lot better. Now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and take a look at the tuning. We're going to go to the stock. We're going to do all aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. That means you're going to get a lot of speed out of that stock. We're going to go to the rear grip, all sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. We do this because when you run this on the speed grip, it eliminates and negates all your recoil control and puts you in negative. By running this grip, you get the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, but you're still going in the positive on recoil control. So you're not getting as much handling as the speed grip, but you are going to get more and more recoil control. It's the better balance. Trust me, I've tried them all. Last but not least, the muzzle, FTAC, Castle Comp, you're going to run recoil stabilization full, gun kick control full. This gun is going to be very fast, as you're going to see. ADS speed is very quick and has no recoil whatsoever. You see the sprint to fire speed is very quick. There's like no waiting for it, even the ADS speed. Has almost no recoil at all. I'll show you guys on the door here. Very little recoil at all. So you guys can see how good this gun is. There's almost no recoil whatsoever. 